Alright, so, the enemy has, uh, well, they've moved their troops a little bit. We're doing a great job interdicting their forces, so, well, that's good. But they're starting to push forward here, and the, the, the AI um, is starting to try to exploit our weaknesses and our lines to move them forwards as well. So let's see, our infantry is moving forwards, so we're going to try to uh, catch up with the Italians over here. And to the north, I'm going to see if I can actually sandwich some of these, uh, some of these Italian troops, isolating these troops, and that may, um, may beg us quite a lot of, uh, enemies, so we'll see what happens. So let's see. I'm going to try to fire on this unit, I'm going to try to fire on it again, all I want to do is just disrupt that one particular unit, because I want to sandwich the, uh, the block of, uh, units to the right of it, or to the left of it, off. I'm going to try to assault it, but unfortunately our assault failed. Alright, now going back to Kanakati, I'm going to get our vehicles to move, our mechanized guys to move forward. And because the threat of uh, isolation has been solved here, I'm going to get the battalion to repurpose itself and move over here to block off the, um, the German forces, which appear to be moving towards our group of HQ units here. So they're going to do that. Our artillery is going to fire once again. Um, as soon as they can. Oh, that's right. You do your, uh, your troops. These artillery units, um, seeing as though they're, they're bright green uh, units, meaning that they are part of the 3rd Infantry Division, they need a unit that's part of the 3rd Infantry Division to spot for them. And unfortunately, the only one that we have is this one, A115. And, um, well, as you can see here, if we move into this tile, we don't actually see the 150-point uh, victory location. So we're going to keep them there, and we're going to use them to hammer on to the the enemy. So just like that, you'll see here that this unit is actually present on top of a little hill, and that's kind of the reason. Alright, so that is done, and now a lot of our tanks here are low on ammo. We have a local supply value of 70 here, so 70% of the time they will be full on ammunition. However, it looks like this turn is not one of them. We're probably not going to be able to assault, seeing as how, assault, uh, how disrupted troops cannot um, assault. And with that kind of said, uh, we have quite a lot of troops that aren't uh, ready for an assault yet. So we'll just try to put down a barrage of uh, fire and whittle down the Germans' numbers. While the German troops are top quality troops, one of their flaws is that the, the Axis player just simply doesn't have enough of them. Meaning that you can take them down by sort of slowly whittling them down. It's more or less, uh, it's more apparent inside the main campaign where you actually play out the whole uh, invasion of Sicily. But inside this, um, if we're able to whittle down the enemies' numbers to a point in which they won't be able to, you know, put up with an assault, then that also works. And over here, we've isolated this group of units, meaning that it's completely vulnerable, and we can assault it now, and hopefully we'll be able to eliminate it. And let's see, one more assault should do it. There we go. So all on the front here, everything sh is um, it's going fairly well. I'm gonna get some more tanks. Yeah, all of our units have moved. So that is the end of this turn. And now it is turn five out of nine. Axis forces are still trying to move. It looks like they've uh, they're trying to exploit our little gap inside our lines here. The Italians are trying to make a counterattack and narrow, um, but it looks like the A is trying to shift some forces into Kanikadi, but it just simply can't. Alright, so, um, again, we're just going to start off with a barrage of um, shells. You'll see here that one of our artillery pieces are unavailable, meaning that uh, because, again, of the supply value, it's only available 70% of the time, so we aren't unfortunately able to use that gun battery uh, this particular turn. Alright, so, moving forwards, let's get our troops to assemble here. I want to, uh, I want to hopefully assault the, the guys here this turn, and press into the, uh, the outskirts of Kanakadi. Oh, good, we've disrupted the enemy, it's perfect. So, yeah, enemy forces, typically when you assault them, when they're disrupted, they have a very, very, very high chance of routing. And with that said, um, hopefully we'll be able to take over this hex today. So the majority of um, enemy troops, or the majority of these German troops, they'll be morale level A, 
and uh, you can actually lower the morale of troops by doing morale damage or doing fatigue damage and also taking out uh, or putting uh, certain traits onto them. So typically these German troops will all be morale A, but because we've disrupted the enemy troop here, they'll be morale B, and because they're low on ammo, they'll be morale C. But um, they also have this fatigue value, and if this fatigue value goes over 100, um, they'll be dropped another level. So they, these guys were originally morale level A, and because of these three uh, things happening, so they, they have fatigue, they are disrupted, and they are low on ammo, that actually switches to D, meaning that that equalizes with uh, our troops here. And uh, it so happens that all we will be able to do is that we'll be able to move against them and shift them out, just like that. Good attack. We're going. We still have some movement points here, so we're going to spend that on shooting them um, by a bit, and that will do some damage like that. And then we move forwards to Kanagadi. So all on the front, I mean, things are looking fairly good. I'm going to go for a bit of a cheesy play here, but I just want our recon tanks to just sort of nab this town away from the enemy, so I'll send them forwards. But unfortunately, um, it looks like the, source, the shortest path, but the only way that they were able to get to uh, the whatever movement point that I set for them was across that minefield. So they took, uh, I don't think they took any losses, but they, they were definitely stalled for sure. Alright, well, anyhow, um, let's see, this tank troop can move forwards slightly, so they will. And the gun batteries have already fired over here in Narrow. Um, let's see. Can't commit to an assault, but we should be able to pin down these, uh, these Italian troops. There we go, we actually managed to disrupt them, so that's good. Still want to isolate these troops, and wonder if we will be able to do that. We're going to assault with a third of a battalion, so we're going to assault with a company of troops. Looks like the chances, well, we may have a chance to do this, but unfortunately that did not work. And over here I'm going to move some more of our troops, and we're actually going to assault this um, Italian field artillery battery. And artillery will always be marked with the little uh, dot, as you probably have noticed. I should have said something about that earlier, but yeah. Um, we're going to try to push on that over here. We're going to pin down these uh, troops using our troops as his zone of control. And that will be the end of this turn. All we really need to do is just finish off uh, Kanakadi, and that should be the end of the scenario. And again, losses are being exchanged. We can actually speed this process up. So, um, if we actually go to the to the overall, like the the zoomed out panel here, you can see that it does speed up the uh, the turn resolution even more. All right. So um, let us begin here. All we want to do is capture Kanakadi. The enemy, the uh, the Germans, are starting to make process progress. They're starting to uh, get behind our blocking troops. So they are uh, slowly moving forwards here. Get our troops to just move into the tiles next to that victory location. And, ooh, that is, there's actually a whole entire uh, battalion of troops inside there, so that is going to be quite difficult to, uh, you know, to just get rid of them. I'm going to shift our troops slightly, because we do need to protect our victory location from the enemy um, pushing them forward and uh, taking those, so I'm going to move that there. Shift our troops here slightly, so then um, we might be able to actually isolate these two groups of troops too. That would be kind of cool. But I think that's all we're really going to do. So speed up the game here just a little bit. should be able to begin our assault onto the actual, uh, where the hard portion of the town, which is making this assault. So, in addition to artillery assets, we also have air power, and, um, well, air power for, for the allies is one of the key things, it's, um, it's one of their major strengths. So, I'm going to lay down some air 
air power, and we have two groups of uh, fighters for air support here, and we're just going to try to send them towards the enemy here. So we're going to try to uh, put a few barrages down, and you'll see that air power does quite a bit of damage. And, well, we want to try to disrupt the enemy inside that victory point, so we'll get all of our units to just fire upon it, and really just see how much damage that they can do. See here that the enemy does fire back. Get our guys to fire one more time. And all we're trying to do is just to disrupt them. In the given time frame, I mean, we're definitely not going to be able to um, to get them uh, fully eliminated in the time period given. So we're just going to try to delay, or they're just going to try to delay us, and we're just going to have to, um, well, assault them from the looks of it. And the Axis player is making their own little uh, counter-offensive jabs over here and there. Alright, so, last turn of this scenario. What we're going to do here is that we're going to shift this recon unit a little bit further, and we're going to move them into that victory location, just sort of as a, as a cheesy little, uh, you know, grab that location really fast type of ploy. We get these tanks to move up here. And we're going to see whether or not we have any more air power, and wh whether or not we have any more artillery. And all we are going to do is just drop guns over here and there. Doesn't look like we are able to spot kind of the, uh, the 300 point location anymore. Seeing as how the, uh, the Germans were actually able to make a breakthrough on this road, and uh, they're starting to push, and they're starting to make, uh, they're starting to put quite a lot of pressure on our troops here. So, um, one last time, I'm going to drop some more air power. Unfortunately, the enemy has intercepted them. So we'll get our troops here, get them to fire, try to disrupt it. And, well, they can't, so we're just going to assault, and this probably won't work. But that is our last ploy for success, and we'll just uh, speed this up to the end. And there we go, time has been reached inside the scenario. So we've uh, we've come to a draw here. The allies were delayed, they were they did quite a lot of damage to the enemy, but they, unfortunately they weren't able to take the town of Kankati. And I believe that was also the historical result. The Panzer Grenadiers present inside the town were able to delay the allied forces for a extended amount of time. And well, that's that. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.